Hello and welcome to the new tutorial of Power BI. And before I begin this new Power BI tutorial, let me ask you this. Suppose you are providing your end user with a report and they are asking for some interactivity because after a certain time, they are pretty much used to of the report. Now they want to update the report or update the visualizations based on how they feel it is right. So what would you do in this scenario? What sort of component you will going to create in Power BI for this? Take a pause and then come back and think about it. Well, I believe you might have taken a pause and thought about it. And the right answer is providing them the filters. So filters has the ability where you can provide the different types of filters within Power BI. For example, suppose you are reporting to a product business hat and there are different product categories and you want them to select a different product category by which they can update the charts and visualization for their needs and we will see in this video how we can create the slicers which is a filter within the power bi for updating those charts and visualization so let's get started so here we are with the seventh topic creating the Power BI slicer in Power BI and formatting it. And this sheet is present within the description and I will add the video links as well over here so that you can easily use it. And I will continue adding more topics to the sheet. So keep, make sure that you have this sheet available with you whenever you need it. All right, so let's go into the Power BI. So here we are within the Power BI and earlier we created this chart. So what I'll do is select this chart and delete it. So slicer is present over here in this visualization section. And as you can see, the slicer name is present. So what I'll do is I will just click on this slicer and a slicer blank object is present here in which we can add some information. So like I mentioned, suppose you are reporting to a product business hat and they want the different product categories to be evaluated. So for that, what do we have is different product categories fields as you can see. So what I'll do is if I just expand this using this uh, section header and uh, as you can see double arrow is coming which is allowing us to uh, expand it. Um, so what I need is product category. So two options, either I can check this and this will give us the product category and i can also drag this up and put it over here right now it's already one is already present so that's why i'm just removing that so these are the two options either you can enable this or you can put it over here in the field section once you have this what we need is basically a chart or a table or a visualization on which these slicers or these filter values can be applied so for that, I'm just clicking outside in the blank area and then selecting a table, let's say. So what I'll do is click a table. And once I click the table, a new table is present here. What I can do is bring it up over here. Um, in this table, let's say what we want is the product subcategory. So the product subcategory is coming. And maybe what we are interested or what the product head is interested in seeing is the sum of profit that how the profitability looks like for the various different product subcategories, right? So now we have this visualization and suppose earlier only this was present and it was really difficult for the product head that where the office furnishing is or where the paper is related when it comes to the product category, whether it is furniture, office supplies or technology. But now since you have provided this slicer or this filter, you can click or the end user can click over here and all these subcategories which is related to the office supplies is present here similarly if somebody wants to or they want to select the furniture all the furniture and their related profit will be coming over here now it may be a scenario that they may want to select more than one category but if you see right now we have this one selection only so what you need to do is just provide them the information that you need, they need to hold down the control key on the windows and select the value. In that way, they will have the two values selected like this and it will be uh, the table or the visualization will be updated accordingly. And whatever value we have in the slicer based on whatever selection we are doing, 
it's not that that it is related to only one visualization but it is related to all the different visualization where it is which is present here so if i just click outside and let's say i create one chart over here uh, the column chart or maybe the stack column chart so if i select any of this chart and bring it over here then if i select let's say the customer segment and uh, then the profit here we have the profit by the customer segment so if i just select only the office supplies the office supplies uh, values are filtered for the customer segment and they, for their respective product subcategory and similarly when we hold down the control key and select the technology both these values are updated accordingly now there is a very recent uh, in, in a very recent addition a new feature has been added by the power bi which is creating hierarchies of filters without much of a hassle just a simple drag and drop so for example we have these product categories maybe after the product category is selected they may want to look at in which region this product profit looks like or how the profit looks like for uh, for a particular region so what we can do is we have this region filter and when we bring it over here below the product category what you will see is a small down arrow is being created so if i just expand it for the furniture you will see that it is available for the various regions which is present for furniture or for the office supplies and so on and so forth so for example if we are only interested to look at the furniture and for ontario so if we select that the all the values related to the furniture and ontario will be selected and an interesting thing will come out that the small business is the area where you are not making profit but making less so this reveals some interesting insight as to what is going on with the business why the home office so profitable and why the small business is so uh, so much in loss and accordingly they you can help them take the decision or take the right direction for making a call as to what do they need to do over here so this is a very interesting feature and you can add more categories for example apart from this if you want to add let's say the order priority uh, if they want you want them to look at so you will add the order priority you will see that after the region another down arrow is being created and once you open the down arrow the critical high low medium all these different type of or uh, um, these different types of order priorities is done or created over here so for example in in the let's say in the northwest territories we want only the high orders so this will clearly show for furniture for northwestern territories what are the orders which is of high priority so this slice provides a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can provide it to the users and if you have the very recent version so for example over here in the help if i see my version is right now the 2.85 which is one of the very recent version and released in the september 2020 uh, you will find this feature so if in cert some cases you are not able to see this that means probably your version is old so that's about how you can create these uh, text slicer or the text filters within the power bi to create the hierarchies and provide your user a dynamic interface which they are able to take it to a next level by going into these insights now we'll meet in the next topic which is creating first DAX calculated field in Power BI.